It's freaking broken. You are lucky that it's alive. You are one heck of a- Oh my- What time is it? Oh, it's, it's 9.41. Yeah, I think, I think my package should be at the post office. Let's go get it right now. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Let's go get some tarantulas. I already don't like how this package is being packed. Are you serious, dude? You put the teas in a stupid box. Are you serious? Look at this box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? You cannot be serious, man. Dude, are you like dead serious right now? I, I didn't. Oh my gosh. Seriously, it's wet. It's freaking wet. And the tissues are in here. Are you serious? You're telling me that the teas are... Dude, are you freaking serious, man? You cannot be serious, dude. What a troll. Oh my goodness. Yo, okay. Where is my... I need my scissors, wherever that is. I can't find my scissors. You know what? Dude, I seriously have no words, man. How dare you pack a tea like this? I see the tea in there. I can see the legs. Oh my goodness. Why am I getting such stupid packages this lately? Like, seriously, man. You cannot be serious. First of all, this is super just dangerous. What do you mean, just a sack? Yo, my car's haunted, guys. <laughs> but yeah, guys. I mean, come on, man. You do not pack a tea like this. Look at the box. <sighs> idea right now yo the tea better be all right you know i'm gonna be covering it first because okay i see one tea over there and that one seems to be doing hopefully okay now this tea i'm not exactly sure how it's doing wait let me just take a quick look oh my goodness yep it is alive dude okay you are lucky that it's alive first of all you don't pack a tea in with dirt okay you just pack the tea with the paper towels and when you pack a tea you wrap the paper i mean the uh paper towels around the sides of the container you don't just toss the tea in and just like throw a, a layer of tissue paper on it like look at this the tea could have been dead dude you're lucky you're lucky that the tea is alive like seriously tiger rump i did not order a tiger rump it better not be a tiger rump this is ridiculous man how you pack a tea first of all you pack it in like a such a dodgy packaging like like that there we go the tea is right there yeah you pack it so dodgily if that's even a word and then you you toss it into a soft box like like a paper cake box i'm pretty sure you eat cakes in this box and you freaking like do this seriously dude no very very bad packaging bad example you don't pack tarantulas like this guys you look at this look at how this guy packs his teas you see it's freaking broken unbelievable man unbelievable the tea could have escaped it could have got squished in the box it could have died there because the box can you imagine if the tea is inside there it, it escaped from the hole the box goes boom and the tea is gone it's just squished i don't want to open a box to a splattered tarantula Okay, <sighs> this guy man cool down cool down. Sorry guys. I'm a little bit just hot over here, but unbelievable man This is wow. This is just I, I cannot believe this. Woo! calm down man. Calm down. Yo How do you even pack a tea like this? Yo, you are so damn lucky man that the both teas that both teas are sorry I can't even speak right now that both teas are doing good. So lucky. Oh, if not, you're gonna have to refund me I don't care man. You're gonna have to refund me if they are dead. I'm glad that this is great i mean i'm not i mean this is not great but it's great that the torrentials are still alive thank god and what a lucky guy man dude you are so lucky <sighs> all right so yeah now i'm gonna go head back home and get these guys into their enclosures as soon as possible because i mean i'm pretty sure they've been suffering in this for god knows how long like over a day so yeah guys let's go back home and get this sorted out just texted the dude and hopefully he takes that into consideration for his next uh, shipment and this is what he said well it did wrap around dude are you serious man do I look like a complete idiot to you I've received countless amount of tarantulas in shipping and you're telling me that you wrap the paper towels around the container with the tea in the middle if that's the case then why are both tarantulas under the paper towels don't lie to me man don't lie to me yeah it wouldn't have happened if we used like a cardboard box maybe you we are back home guys what is going on let's go rehouse those tarantulas into i mean not rehouse let's just transfer them into their enclosures 
yep i get more and more frustrated every time i look at this so i'm not going to be looking at this let's get these tarantulas these two big girls into their enclosures good thing they're doing fine check that out that girl's doing good this one isn't really moving so i'm a little bit worried but anyways let's go man it's a good thing that i prepared the enclosures yesterday and let everything settle in i mean let the uh, substrate all settle in well now it is time to get these guys hopefully they'll adapt into these enclosures and yeah back in the animal room got to switch on the lights as for oh yeah i haven't even mentioned what tarantulas we have so here we have the zebra and here we have the brazilian redhead so yeah let's get an enclosure for the zebra first because she's not doing too well i mean as from what i see she isn't doing the best so let's see what enclosure we shall put her in okay so we have got should we get her into this one over here hmm no i don't think we'll put her in this let's see you know what we're gonna get her in this one you know why because these guys actually do enjoy burrowing they do burrow quite a bit so over here we have got a log which goes in super deep over there so she will be able to go in and just dig in there and just settle in and just make a nice web entrance over here just like my Thailand black which I will be showing you like right now I just sprayed her enclosure check this out Thailand black she has a wood over here and she made a nice little mm, what you call this like a mat for her entrance and she is doing super well somewhere in there but yeah she's doing super well substrate not too much maybe about sorry phone's not focused maybe about four inches of substrate but she is deep down there guys she is super deep and she's doing super well no issues whatsoever and it's gonna be pretty much the same for this one so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing but before we put her in I'm gonna be needing this and this just gonna give it a little bit of spray down because these guys do enjoy their substrate uh, more damp, should I say. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, something like that. Not too saturated of water because I don't want mold to come. So man, good thing she didn't escape, bro, because these guys, they are not fun. Yeah, they're not fun, especially when they bite. So yeah, let's see. Yep, this is something that I cannot do with one hand. So I'm going to use two hands to open because when I try to open it with one hand, this thing just goes down like this. So just like that, I've got it open. Yo, check her out, you guys. She is one heck of a beauty. Look at that, man. I'm so happy that she's actually alive because, man, it could have ended way worse. The odds of having her dead in that kind of packaging are very, very high. So, yeah, thank God. My gosh, look at this girl. She is, oh, what a beauty. Man, check this out. She is one heck of a beautiful girl. So, yeah, let's just get her into her enclosure without any further ado because, man, I don't don't want anything else to happen to this girl these guys are pretty rare over here and no we're not gonna let her suffer anymore okay let's just get her in straight away oh yeah by the way before we put her in uh sorry girl gonna have to take you out because i gotta show people what's gonna be in your enclosure okay guys so basically what we have in this enclosure is the substrate you guys already know that and then we've got some plants over here we've got a oh yeah i just broke the dog's skull never mind it, it gives it more character no wait that's supposed to be the water dish place yeah it gives it more character check that out yeah I think that looks good, man. I think that <laughs> I think that looks good. And then we've got some logs over here where she can burrow in real deep over there. And she can even dig even deeper in. So, yeah, all good. And then we've got some cocoa husk up here where, I don't know, it just gives the enclosure a little bit more character. And some plants over here. She'll spend most of her time in there. So, no worries if here's a little bit cluttered. Just, yeah. These tarantulas, they like to live in small holes. So, small hole right there. So, yeah, now it is time to get her in. She may be a little bit bolty, so we got to be extra careful all right if she bolts though i'm super happy because okay so now we're going to test the temperament hopefully she's good oh okay that's a good sign that's a very very good sign so she's doing super awesome guys and i am super happy and i can still hear birds in the background but i don't care because my tarantula is doing good come on girl all right let me just okay there we go. Yo, this girl, check her out, you guys. Whew, she is awesome. She's doing sweet. Please do not bolt out, though. You want to bolt, you bolt. 
inwards. You are one heck of a- Oh my- Did you guys see that? Yo. Yo. Okay. Now that was interesting. That was super interesting. Oh, that is some good news, guys. That is some good positive stuff. Because as you can see, she is doing super well. So that's what matters. Woo. All right. And I'm still not happy about how she was packed because it could have ended way worse. But now she is doing heck of an awesome. Yeah, boy. Let's go. Let's go get the other tarantula. So next up, we have the Boomba Cabocla, also known as the Brazilian Redhead. Now let's go choose a nice enclosure for her. It's not going to be an enclosure with a very big height. I'm going to be choosing one with a rather small height because it is in fact a pretty small species. So yeah, let me see. Hmm, maybe this one. I think this one would be good because this height isn't too big. You see, compared to my hand, it's not big at all. So yeah, I think this will be good for the Boomba. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think this enclosure, guys. This enclosure. I feel positive with this one. So yeah, guys, Um, let's put this Brazilian Redhead into this enclosure. So we've got substrate, cocoa husk, got some plants over here, a hide, and some cocoa husk on top, and we have got a wood over here. So that's basically it. Super simple enclosure. And now we're going to put this girl, this big girl. Man, she's huge huge yo she is big i'm not exactly sure if she's super bolty i mean these guys they can be bolty as well wait i need a better angle like her away from my fingers i want her to go straight into the hide so she'll settle in better okay there we go i don't know why it's written that tiger rump maybe he had his tiger rump in there before but yeah let's go let's go hopefully she's doing well just like the other dude and yeah come on girl come on hopefully you're doing fine because this was the one with the open container in the box which was bad guys it was bad good thing she didn't come out come on girl go yeah you're doing good are you doing okay i think you're doing fine how are you are you a bit lethargic or what's wrong with your leg come on you know what i'm not gonna be disturbing you girl you you just settle in i'll go get your water dish and just put it for you at the corner over here please do not turn around at me man this is a little bit sketchy you know i was worried about the other one but then that one was like good but then i wasn't too worried about this one and this one uh hopefully it's good okay guys so yeah that will be it for this video i think this video is like super long because i ranted for like super long so if you guys reach to this part of the video then just comment something that you ate for breakfast yesterday yeah just do that <laughs> so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you uh i hope you don't get packages that are in paper boxes because that kind of sucks so yeah guys i'll see you in the next video make sure you thumbs this video up if you liked it thumbs it down if you didn't share this video so people will know that you shouldn't use paper boxes i mean it's kind of common sense but i guess some people just stupid yeah i'll see you in the next video peace